Alright, so last time we made a very sizable dent into Chapter 7, and we are now at the top of Shiver Mountain. Which is fantastic. Also, we are full on our stats. We're just about to enter the 7th dungeon. The Crystal Palace. So we don't even need that heart uh, right there. This is one of my favorite dungeons in the whole game. It's, it's a, no pun intended, very cool dungeon and really clever. Might as well save here. I think we've already tattled on the swoopulas. Which reminds me, we really should have Zap Tap equipped. Okay, multi bound let's see. No to Quake Hammer, we don't need that. Oh, how how wonderful. Oh, hi, Green Magikoopa. Shoot, we actually should have kept Quake Hammer equipped for the Swoopulas. Dog on it. Eh, that's okay. We'll take out Green Magikoopa. And I can't believe where I'm saying this, but we're switching to Paracarry. Actually, no, we're not. We're switching to Bow. Bow can deal high damage against these guys. Boom! <laughs> I know I could use a Star Spirit to help me damage them, but what's the point? Alright, smack him to a kingdom come! Excellent. Yeah, it was nice. We got to tattle on the Swoopula in a previous world, for some reason. Nice job, Bo. Oh yeah, I forgot I had Murley's, uh, curse. More coins! Oh boy! I love all the things that they do with the mirrors in this, uh, dungeon. Whew. Forgot, GameCube controller can be hard to do this stuff with. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bring it on. Yeah, Zap Tap is pretty broken against some enemies. Hey Mobius, welcome to the stream. Florida was very nice. Nice weather, got to see my brother and sister-in-law and their new baby. Great times were had by all. Good food was eaten by all. But it's nice to get back into streaming. I do enjoy a good stream every now and again. How have you been doing? And then Mr. Swoopula just kills himself. Oh yeah, I'm loving the weather. Hot is the way I like it. Yeah, I actually checked the temperature multiple times uh, on that trip, and... Florida was about the same temperature as Michigan was, but Florida was a lot more humid. <laughs> this dungeon is so cool. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I like how it doesn't blow up the crack at the top there. They do some really cool things with the mirror reflections. Yeah, 
like, some audio's here! Whoa! We better beat him! I don't care, Google Chrome. Stop giving me alerts while I'm streaming. Oh, yeah, White Club is a thing. Whoops! Oh, this looks like a job for Goomario! <laughs> yes, please turn into Goombaria. Oh. That's not what I wanted to see. That's okay, we can take out Bombette as well. Do not want Bombette blowing me up. That would be very rude. Oh, thank goodness you're lessening the damage I take against this enemy. <laughs> when he doesn't even attack me. Oh, hi, Bo. Yeah, you're not going to survive. No, the real Mario is so strong! <gasps> the Duplaghosts are some of the, c the coolest enemies in Mario, honestly. Very creative. We go back outside, because there's a nice star piece in this cave. I love the whole gimmick of, like, there's the mirror and the different sides have different reflections. It's really well done. Oh, hi. Hi, Mr. Swooper. Okay, let's take out Magic Koopa first. Do your worst. Oh, no, not lack of Lester. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> All these power pluses make the game a lot more manageable. <laughs> Bye, Swoopula. I'm surprised that getting electrocuted doesn't make them fly down from the ceiling. Nope, you gotta smack them. That's okay. Easy fight nonetheless. Just not as fast as some of the previous fights, but I'm saving FP this way and I'm not taking damage. <laughs> oh hey, it's a Voltrum, which is probably going to be useless, but might as well- Nope, we're not keeping that. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we are definitely smacking this gray Magic Koopa. We do not want him making anyone transparent. No. Ouch. Hi, Cooper. Oh no, but you boosted his attack power. What will I do? I like how Duple Ghosted Cooper actually has defense. Until you flip him over. Bye, Cooper. Sorry to beat you up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mario, you're kind of glowing a little bit. Oh, don't worry. That's just because of a badge I have equipped. It's very good at conducting electricity. Oh. That's right. Shooting star in here. Uh, we don't really... I'd rather... No, I'm keeping the shooting star. Let's get rid of the super shroom. We can buy those dime a dozen at the store. I did forget how many items there are in this dungeon. Take that, Magic Koopa! Yeah, these these fights are just effortless at this point. 
I can literally just let them kill themselves. Dead bat number one. I like their little, uh, like, fork toes. Dead bat number two. And... Dead bat number three. Man, Bo, I forgot how good you are as a party member. Holy cow. Thanks for the money, bro. I might be wanting me some repel gel. Man, there are more Manchi Koopas in this area than I remember there being. Yeah, this is a bit of a boring stream to begin with, unfortunately. Just a lot of simple enemies. Maybe I should equip Quake Hammer just to speed up the ba the battles a little more. Actually, I think I will be doing that, because I'm about to get another power-boosting badge. <laughs> Bat problems? Call Mario and Bo. Is this the right one, or is this... No, it's the P-Down, D-Up, Bat. Yeah. That one's not as good. I was hoping it was the P-Up, D-Down. That bad just kind of busted. Although that'll be more balanced in Pro Mode, because it lowers your defense by one, but in Pro Mode, it's going to lower your defense by two. Which is actually kind of a lot. Ah, yes, this room. Not Paracarry. This is where things get interesting. What? Who are all of you? You're all trying to look like me! Mario, don't tell me you can't tell which one is the real Bombette! You can tell, right? Hey, I heard that! You're spreading lies, you imposter! I'm the real Bombette! Oh, no, no, no! Mario, look carefully at me and you'll know! I'm the real Bombat. It can only be me. These others are all liars. I'm the one! Mario! Me! Don't fall for these tricks! I'll blow you up if you do! I... I'm the real Bombat. P please trust your eyes and look at me. I... I'm not lying. No! I can't bear this! Mario, smash the imposters with your hammer! All of you pretending to be me, I can't take it another second! Oh, that's a nice idea. That'll clear all of this up. Yes, good idea! I just hate imposters! Mario! I'm the real Bombette, so don't you dare hit me! I'm just going to back away a little bit. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to back up a little bit. So choose the imposter. I kind of want to go home. <laughs> Doggone it. I can't even change my party member. Okay, you're fake. No, no! I, I should have worked harder on my Bombette disguise. I, I won't forget this. What? Why did you hit me? Blast! You found me! What's wrong with my disguise? You used too many exclamation points. Oh, you must be very smart to figure out I was an imposter. There is one imposter among us. Curses! I thought we were doing a great job of confusing you. I'll be back. What's with the shadow behind me? You guys see that? There's a shadow behind me where Bombette is supposed to be, to the right of Mario. And it was following me around like it was Bombette. That's, that's hilarious. Oh, somehow you managed to see through my disguise. Darn it! I thought I was doing so well! And then it reset. If you'd hit me with that hammer, Mario, I was going to bomb you the next time you napped. But you didn't! I'm so happy that you knew I was the real Bombette! Aw. That's cute. 
<laughs> Way to hover, Bombette. <laughs> Way great job, sweetie. Oh, this game is a blast. Get it. Janae, welcome! It's been a week since I last streamed, but I am back. How are you doing? Ready for some exciting times in the Mirror uh, Temple? I mean, the Crystal Palace. <laughs> I love all the gimmicks of this dungeon. They're, they're great. Oh, that's right. How are you? The great and honorable Crystal King said that I can't let anyone pass. You're up to no good. I'm going to have to hurt you. Um, what is that? What the heck is that? That is not an enemy that appears in Paper Mario. That's one of those fiends at the end of the dungeon and you have to move around. Oh, uh, what? We're taking out White Claw the first, because we can do that with just Mario. Um, what is this? Albino Dino? This is an Albino Dino. Albino Dinos are the guards of this frosty place. Fire attacks won't work. Their defense power is huge, so let's reduce their HP steadily using our strongest damage dealing attacks. What? They programmed in a new enemy. How much defense do they have? They have a butt-ton of defense. Well! Time to use what? Wow! I wonder if this is another enemy that they just removed from the game, but they already had all the coding in for it. If so, it's a shame that they actually removed them, because these are cool enemies. That's crazy! I was not expecting just brand new enemies. That's not even just like, oh, we took a we took a hyper a hyper paraguma and put a spike on its head. Like, no, that's like like a legit, completely new enemy with new animations and attacks and everything. That's insane. All right, well, if that's the case, we're getting uh we're getting our quake on. I won't let you! I won't, and I won't, and I won't! You can't! You'll have to go through me if you want to get past! Work's been killing you, Janae? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, now that I'm back to the to the old grind, uh, work is gonna be, uh, interesting for me, too. Alright, let's quake these guys up! That's a shame. I was hoping to do more damage so that Cooper could finish them off. Maybe Bombette's power bomb? No! Oh, you know, okay. Mm. It's risky because it's one of those tap left things, but I'm going to try it. Oh, that one was much more easy to manage. Booyah! Fire shell for the win. Okay, that one was easy to do. Paracarry's air raid was not. All right. Hey, didn't you hear me? I said I'm not budging, you got that? Do you have any idea how mad the Crystal King will get if I let you pass here? I don't want him mad at me, so I have to teach you a lesson. Yes, yes. Crystal King is scary. All right, let's try that again. Fire shell! Boom! Burn! I forgot how good Fire Shell is. Goodness gracious. Is there anything behind this wall? No, that's a different wall. Man, with the right badge set up, like, the enemies just don't even stand a chance against you. Crystal Keen is going to be an interesting fight, you hope? I hope so, too. I hope they buff his HP. Because otherwise, the fight could be over pretty quickly. Also, um, when I did my level 0 run, I learned some tricks to beat him. To make him a lot more easily. To make him a lot more easy. But might be different in this playthrough. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, 
Okay, Duplagos time. Probably should have equipped Power Quake or Mega Quake. Yeah, definitely should have equipped Power Quake or Mega Quake. Hot, 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 hot. Don't turn into flying enemies. Dog on it. They're all turning into flying enemies. Except him. Uh oh. I do not like being low on HP. Oh, great! All but one of them turn into flying enemies. Well, oh, they're at 4 HP, though, so we can Star Storm. You've been a very bad, bad boy. Star Storm for the win! Even as nerfed as it was. Good job! And for all this work we get, honestly, one of the... Attack FX F badge? That is not a badge that was in the normal game. What happened to Triple Dip? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll use this one. I don't care about Triple Dip. I think Triple Dip is one of the worst badges in the game, but... I'm excited. Interesting! That's the sound that the flowers make in the Forever Forest. Was that, again, uh, just a badge that got patched out of the game? Maybe that's why they removed it. Triple Dip, yeah. The problem with Triple Dip is there's not really a situation where using three items is necessary over two items. And on top of which, um... It took a lot of FP and BP to use, so nobody really used it. I would serious I seriously am happier to have Oh. I seriously am happier to have um What do you call it? Why can't why am I blanking on the name? Another attack FX badge. Oopsie! No 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 Oh, that's not good. I might die. I might die. I'm still alive. Just like Glado said. All right, well. Kiss me. I gotta level up before Crystal Cane now, though. Yeah, you better run. I have to level up before Crystal Cane, because I'm gonna need some Star Meter for my strategy against him. Oh, yes! Best part of the dungeon right here. Oh, weird! You actually have to wait for them to start doing it. Well, Cooper Shadow came back without Cooper. <laughs> Mario, I'm the real Cooper, but of course you know that, don't you, old boy? Mario, look at me, I'm the real deal. Nobody else looks like Cooper. Mario, come on, I'm Cooper. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Cooper, Shunny. You believe me, don't you? I'm the real Cooper. There isn't any doubt in your mind, is there, brother? Okay, old bean, you'd best smash these imposters one by one. That's a good idea. Brother, smash them all except me, okay? I just realized that Goompa has a fez. I, kn I knew he had a hat, but I didn't realize it was a fez. I'm gonna just back up. <laughs> you must choose, Sheriff Woody! Okay, yeah, guys. Watch the shadow behind Mario. You can see it's moving around. It's like Cooper is there, but he's just invisible. It's so weird. Mario, open your eyes! I'm Cooper! I mean, seriously! Look at me! Is it really that tough to see for these disguises? Please! Hitting Cooper here is actually hilarious. <laughs> but it also leads to a boss fight, so... I'm um, sorry. You must have some sort of sixth sense, sonny! Gah, remember me! I'll return, remember me! Though I have to say goodbye, remember me! 
Ouch, that hurt. Still, good job. You must have some incredibly keen eyes to spot me. Darn it. Hmm, Mario, well done. I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. Goodbye. Bravo. I said I was the real Cooper so many times. So mean. Just joking. I definitely thought I had you going there, though. I love how even disguised as Luigi, when he thinks he's Cooper, he still calls us his brother. <laughs> yes, yes! Good call, Mario! I knew you'd get it right! Those were the worst disguises ever. <laughs> and then Duple Ghost Mario and Cooper just keep on going there for always and eternity. <laughs> oh, that's right. The way forward is blocked by the, uh final key, right? Oh! I'm pretty... Yeah. We gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... I'll come back for you later, cheeseburger. <laughs> Cause you're his cheeseburger. <laughs> I think that has a jam and jelly in it. Interesting that they actually let you move during that. In the vanilla game, there was you had to stand still while like a cutscene played of the bridge appearing. What? <laughs> I love Mario's expression there. Fantastic. Hi, bro. Oh, bo- Oh, fun! I love how- Ooh! Thank you, Merly! Oh, that was the last of the curve. That's fine. Oh, boy. This means I can just use Power Shell. And it accomplishes the same effect. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Run away, white magic. <laughs> Run away, Scar, and never return. <laughs> I just realized I don't think I'm gonna be leveling up before the boss fight. That kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, come to Papa. It's the P up D down badge. We are definitely equipping that. I don't care if I take two extra damage by equipping that badge. I want that plus one attack power. <laughs> I think at this point... Well, I'm going to keep Zap Tap equipped just in case I run into more albino dinos. I'm going to unequip... Power plus only takes four. Really? That's right. They did lower the cost. Yeah. <laughs> What do I unequip? Well, then in that case, I think I will unequip Zap Tap. No, Power Quake. I'm gonna equip Power Quake. And multi bounce. Now watch. The instant I take that off, I'm going to be facing more albino dinos, aren't I? Also, I should probably eat... I'm going to eat the bland meal. For safety. Okay, here's where the jam and jelly is. We're going to want that. I'm honestly probably just going to sell it for cash, but... Or I guess use it to make a recipe and then send sell it for cash. What happens on one side of the mirror happens on the other. Oh wow, it actually counted as a super jump. That's interesting. That still didn't kill the Duple Ghost? Wow. 
Ouch. No! You butt! <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you thought you could hit me! Yeah, take that. Okay, well, this is not good. That is not good! Save me, Shroom Cake! <laughs> I wonder if Watt can damage Watt. Actually, I'm not gonna try it. I'm gonna use the Lack of Lester. Wow! One of the few times Lack of Lester's uh, uh, attack is actually useful. For when you can't touch it with anyone else. Nice going, buddy. Okay! That could have gone better! I kind of want to level up before the boss fight! But I think there are no more enemies. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> oh, that's just a maple syrup. Lame. I thought that one of those was an ultra shroom. My mistake. I like how the lock falls off on both sides as well. Yep. Yep, there are no more enemies. Unless they change these guys to be enemies! Well, darn it. How, many, how close am I to... Oh, I, I'm actually still a couple star points away. That's a shame. Oh. Wow, I'm stupid. I, why did I think there was a mirror in the way? I swear I've played this game before, folks. I've actually played for- this is my third time playing for this game on my channel. First was just my generic Let's Play of the vanilla game, then I did the level 0 run, and now I'm doing Pro Mode! I like how you can see the crease on the emulator. <laughs> Zoom! Alright, guess... Mm. You know what, folks? Not... Have it going in with a full star meter is actually going to make the fight a bit more interesting, I guess. Alright, we're going to fight Crystal King. We are not going to use Multi Bounce, we are not going to use Power Quake. We will, however, be using D Down Jump. Quick change, sure, why not? Yeah, actually, that looks like a pretty good setup of badges. We have one more BP with it, so we can use Deep Focus, but that's probably not a great idea. Jump charge, maybe? Um, nah. One of these. Let's get... Let's get last stand. Alright. Boss time. I love the background of this area. Who comes to my palace? I love this guy's design. Mario, you finally arrived. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the Star Spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First I shall defeat you, then I shall present Bowser with an iced Mario gift. 
All right. It's a crystal bit. Basically, crystal bits are just pieces of the crystal cane. You can drop them with ease. I hope they didn't get buffed HP. Oh, they're still at 1 HP each. Cool. I got some Thunder Rages for you guys. Oh, I could have equipped a refund, but I'm okay in the coin department. I can keep this up! <laughs> Crystal King. It's the Crystal King. He's one of Bowser's main guys. I don't know how he managed to take over this palace, but he'll attack you by summoning and launching crystal bits. The number of times he attacks equals the number of crystal bits he's deployed. He'll also try to freeze you whenever he can. When his HP gets low, he may try to divide and conquer. You can only hurt him by attacking his real body. That's actually not that hard to deal with, though. That is a lot of damage! Ouch! His crown is spiky since when? <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay, well, this just made the fight a bit more interesting. This is just the practice run, folks. Actually, that might be a waste of shooting stars. Shooting stars are pretty good items. Thankfully, I'm very good at action guarding that. Alright, should have equipped Mega Smash. Normally, Mega Smash is not that good. Has, has Crystal Kings... Oh, herp derp, I'm really good at action guarding that. <laughs> Has Crystal Keen always had a spiky crown that you can't jump on? I don't, I don't... This is my first time encountering it. Well, I think I'm screwed. I'm not screwed today. I'm gonna try to beat him, but uh, I'm not super optimistic about my chances. Yeah, I think we should actually use Spiny Surge here. Won't really deal any damage to Crystal Cane, but it'll take out his bit, his little bits. There we go, that's better. Alright. This is where the secret technique against him comes into play. Chill Out is ridiculously good against the Crystal Cane. No, no, his crown... His crown being spiky is only in pro mode, because I remember jumping on his head in this fight when he clones himself in the air. He's not cloning himself yet, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm going to the lackluster spiny surge strategy. Save those shooting stars. Yeah, there we go. Chill out really helps. Oh my gosh, quick change, thank you. I love that sound effect. Also, this is where Chill Out comes in handy. So the one in the middle had the Chill Out uh, on him, so that means that's the real one. Boo! Darn it. <sighs> I knew it was too good to be true. Honestly, if we can beat him with all of, with all the times we screwed up and the bad badge setup we had, then uh, that'd be kind of hilarious, honestly. He's almost dead. Uh, 
Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Finish him off, Lackluster. Goodbye. No! Wow, we beat him <laughs> on our first try. We really need HP. <laughs> no, no, the last star spirit, Kid Bowser, forgive me! Wow, I can't believe we first tried Pro Mode Crystal Cane. They didn't buff his HP at all. I think he still only had 70 HP. And now we get Mustache Star Spirit. He's the best one. Not really. But he he's cool. <laughs> End of chapter! Mario has saved the last star spirit, Kalmar, from the Crystal Palace at the edge of the world. Now, with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it is time for Mario's showdown with the evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod? Or will wishes forever go ungranted? Well, unless the hack gets extraordinarily difficult in the last world, I'm pretty sure wishes will be granted. Oh, Mario. I wonder what he's doing now. I wish I knew if I was helping him at all. Of course you are! Mario will be fine! You should be proud of your efforts! Mario knows all you've done, except for those two worlds where I didn't tell him what we did. But don't you worry, Princess. You'll be able to talk to him in person before long. <laughs> I hope you're right, Twink. Thanks for cheering me up. Let's go back to the room, shall we? Did somebody say Bowser? Oh, Princess Peach, your cuddly old Bowser's here! Can't we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let me see a smile! I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a pill! You're stuck with me for a long, long time, beautiful. You better get used to it. Mario's coming, Bowser, and you can't stop him. <laughs> oh, you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with this star rod, didn't you know? Mario's no match for me. He's history. Get over it. Your raunchiness, we have an emergency. Uh, it better be important. I'm right in the middle of a friendly chat with the princess. Uh, Mario has now saved all of the star spirits. There is a chance he could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. What? Gah! Mario! Okay, listen, Kami Koopa, send everyone to their posts. We'll ambush him the second he enters my castle. Princess Peach, why don't you come with me to watch? You can have a front row seat to see Mario get crushed. You, yeah you, tie her up immediately. If she gets out this time, heads will roll. No, please. You big Koopa, show some respect to the princess. What is this whining little glittering thing? Confetti? Gah, buzz off. Twink. Take the princess, now! Let's move! No! Yeah, sorry, Princess Peach. Also, you really should stop chain-smoking. My name is Colma. Mario, well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully rescued all of us, Star Spirits. We are in your debt. Now all that is left is for you to challenge Bowser. My power should help you. To bring back the Star Rod, to beat Bowser, to bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom. And to save Princess Peach. Mario's star energy goes up to 7. Mario can now use Up and Away, a new star spirit power. With Up and Away, you can turn all enemies into stars. But not star points. Mario, you must make your way back to Shooting Star Summit. From Shooting Star Summit, we'll prepare the route to Star Haven. The name of this route is the Star Way. Once you travel the Star Way, you'll finally reach Star Haven. 
My only wish is for you to save this precious world. You can do it, Mario. Goodbye for now. I think I give that guy a different voice every single time I voice him. Alright, that's Crystal Palace done. We have some very important items to pick up. We get ourselves a shooting star. Boom. Um, yeah, we want the snowman doll. We might as well pick it up, right? Hi, Clubba. Forgot about you. My gosh, I deal so much damage now. Seven damage per jump! That is more than double what a jump is supposed to deal. <laughs> Oh, best item in the game. Pebble. That is literally the rarest item in the game. There's only one of them. If I can finish off Bowser with the pebble, I'm going to. Oh, I don't... I'll throw out the maple syrup. I want the pebble. Barney, my pebble! <laughs> Hi, Gulpid. Gotta love the monkey drum. Oh, hi, Gulpit. I forgot you're here. Hi, Gulpit. I forgot you're here, too. Yuck! I don't like this at all. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's right. My defense is lowered by two. That was a tiny rock, by the way. Not even one of the big ones. <laughs> that was so funny. Thank goodness we're so powerful. But at what cost? At what cost? Also, we gotta be pretty close to getting all of the star pieces in the game, right? We're at the point we can get all of the star pieces before Bowser's Castle. Shiver Shop. We can check eight more items. We're checking the Pebble. Pebble's best item in the game. I don't care what anyone says. We'll put it in the freezer. Honestly, that's not that expensive for shooting stars. Only 30 coins. We've got cash to burn, so I'll remember that. Chuck Gizmo, are you here? I'm sorry, Chuck Quizmo. Guess not. Alright, bye Shiver City. I love you. You're like the best ice world ever. But alas... Oh, one other thing we need to do. Well, not need to do, but um, I'm pretty sure that Re Rip Cheeto can sell us a Repel Gel. There we go. We're gonna want that Repel Gel. Oh, yeah, and we can do the uh, challenge fights. Alright, I want you to cook my Ultra Shroom. <laughs> And my jam and jelly. <laughs> to get the best item in the game. This recipe's not too bad. The Jelly Ultra. 50 HP, 50 FP. Not too bad. <laughs> Don't be so modest, Tasty. Boop, 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 boop. 
I don't know why I keep checking that guy. I know he... I know I've already bought him out. But I keep going back there nonetheless. Also, it's been an eon since we've checked the letters for our partners. Ah, yes, Mario. Yes, hello. Well, it seems you've received a lot of mail that you haven't checked. Oh my gosh, yeah. Pfft. Here you go. Mario, I'm stuck at the door. Don't leave my, read my mail without me. Too bad. <laughs> Dear Goombario, how are you, my cute Goombario? We are all doing fine here. I hope your tattle ability has finally become useful. Stop by whenever you get the chance. We all miss you. Good luck, my little Goomnut. I'll be thinking of you, Gooma. We gotta read more letters. Okay, Goombario. This one is from Goompa. Mario, I'm still stuck at the door! <laughs> Too bad! <laughs> Dear Goombario, how goes the adventure with Mario? Is it fun? Are you being a brave, Goomba? Remember to relish your time out in the wide world and grow wise from your travels. I wish the, to the stars that your adventure will prove to be a fruitful one. If you can, drop in on us old folks now and again. Goomba misses you terribly. I'm looking forward to seeing you as a grown-up, Goompa. Cooper's fan. <laughs> Dear Mr. Cooper, I must apologize for sending a letter out of the blue. But I had to! I saw you walking to Toto with Mario! You seem so strong and brave, so dashing. If it's okay, I'd really love to have a talk with you. Oh, how embarrassing. I'll write you again soon. Good luck, brave Koopa! Your fan. Koopa, or Cooper, I don't think that's a girl. I think that, that you're getting catfished by like a 60-year-old guy. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> From Coover. Here you go. Dear Cooper, uh, how goes the adventure? I can't believe you're hanging out with Mario! I'm so jealous! Koopa Village is the same. Colorado's wife is impatiently awaiting Colorado's return. Oh yeah! We should try to beat Kent C. Koopa, shouldn't we? You and Colorado, you guys have so much excitement in your lives. You're so lucky! Anyway, good luck, buddy! Coover or Koopa Village! From the Dry Dry Railroad. Dear Miss Bombette, we write this letter as a humble request to you, the most worthy and explosive of all Balams. It's still a long time off, but later this year we are staging an opening event for a new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a, ga a galabash if we could enlist your bomb bursting help. Crowds love fireworks! Anyway, we'll get in touch with you after the adventure ends to confirm the dates. Sincerely, the Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. Oh boy, we got two letters from Stalker Bruce. Here you go. Bomb it! I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. Please understand how I feel. I love you. You're Bruce. Ugh. Bruce, learn to read the room. Here you go. Bob Ed, you must return to me, oh fair and combustible Bob Bob! My heart awaits you in Koopa Village. It burns like a fuse. I will love you forever, even if you reject me, my love will endure. If I don't see you soon, I'll surely explode, so please hurry. You've ignited my passion. Come back to me, my love. You're Bruce. Ugh. Bruce. She don't want ya. Here you go. Dear Paracary, thank you for always delivering my mail despite the snow and ice. Because I live in this cold valley so far from my family, the letters I receive are my greatest pleasures in life. Kind words from my wife and daughter give me the strength to continue my work. My heart leaps with joy every time I hear the sound of your wings. May you never molt your fan frosty. That's nice. From Wacka. Here you go. Waku! This is Waka! Mr. Paracary, from my place in the shadows, I always see you flying above Mount Rugged. It looks like so much fun flying on a sunny day. Tell me about it sometime. My wish to the stars is that you never fall from the sky. Waka of Mount Rugged. Well, how nice. From Bootler. Here you go. To Lady Bo, please return as quickly as possible. I cannot check the image of you in some sort of danger. It so worries me that I can no longer sleep. When you went with Mario, you told me not to go with you. But now I regret my obedience. I should have gone anyway and protected you from harm. Now all I can do is wish to the stars that with the other booze that you return safely. Please take care, Bootler. From the booze, here you go. Dear Lady Bo, thank you for rescuing us from that horrible tub of blubber up in Gusty Gulch. We never dreamed we'd meet a boo of your stature. The sight of you alone would have been enough to keep you us going, but you went ahead and defeated tub of blubber too. We thought that our friends were done for when they were eaten, but they've all returned. Many thanks. When you're done with your quest, we're throwing you a party. Please come. Oh, and please say hi to everyone at Boo's Mansion, the boos in Gusty Gulch. What? From Mother. Oh, yeah, Watt's mom. Here you go. What? Thank the stars that you're safe. I was so worried. When you first disappeared, we were completely baffled. Nobody would help us, and we couldn't find the clue. 
Then we went to Toad Town and heard about the toy box. I was pretty sure you'd be okay in there for a while, but... I was still worried. Please give my deepest thanks to those who saved you. Come home soon, your mother. I want to see Watts, Mom. There you go. Yeah, what? Well, I'm still kicking. I ain't gonna be bait no more. I reckon I appreciate the help of you and your buddies. This here letter will be my thanks, so we're even already. Anywho, good luck doing whatever y'all do, and don't be bothering up me if we meet up again, Fuzzipede. From Sashimi. <laughs> here you go. Dear, uh, dear Mom, when I first heard you were lost in the jungle, and then I heard you were traveling to Mario! Don't do anything dangerous! Please come back as quickly as you can! I'm waiting for you. You're gonna be a grand cheap! We want you to see the small fry, your daughter Sashimi. <laughs> Great name for a cheap cheap. From Flight. Here you go. Dear Spike, you turncoat! You're hanging around with Mario! I'll never forgive you, you big traitor! I heard that your real name is Lackalester, too! I've never heard of such a silly name! I'm gonna call you Lackalester from now on! The only way you could earn my respect now would be to beat Lord Bowser! Yeah, right! Do that and I'll forgive you! Flight of Team Lackatoo. Oh, I should've given him a nerdy voice. Whoops. Lackaloo-loo. Here you go. Dear Lackalester, where are you? You better be a good Lackatoo and return soon! I'll be faithfully waiting for you near the Wise Wisterwood. If you don't come back, I'll search for you till the end of time. I'll give you such a spiny storm, you I'm sorry, love. I get mad when I worry. You're Lackalulu. Okay. We're gonna try to beat up Kent C. Koopa now. And apparently he is immune to, uh, sleep. So we're gonna try something else. Well, we're gonna try a couple of things, actually. D-down jump is definitely a big one. Uh, flower sa- We don't need a flower saver. We're also going to try Dizzy Stomp. And maybe Shrink Stomp, too. I just want to see what works. And then, let's see. I can't remember if he inflicts status effects at all. So I'll equip you and fine. Might as well. We're going to try to beat him. I don't know if we can. He seems extremely tough, but maybe he's just super vulnerable to dizziness now instead of sleeping. I'll have to, I'll have to figure it out. I assume Colorado's still here. Like, oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, Colorado's not here. Perhaps he found a way around him. There you in the hat. Wait. It's fine, whatever. I'm Kent C. Koopa. Uh, no, I'm gonna fight. You wanna fight? You're nuts. Well, I did warn you. Alright. We tattle first. Can see Koopa, he seems large. He stamps with his tail. Yep, be sure to defend. As of all Koopas, your chances will greatly improve if you can flip them over. He is the hugest Koopa ever, yes. Let's see if Dizzy Stomp works. Nope! Nothing doing. Ouch. How about Shrink Stomp? Still nothing. Okay, if you can guard his attack, he actually doesn't really do much damage. Maybe you can only... Oh my god! Oh! Pfft. D down jump just wrecks him. Okay, so maybe it's just a matter of getting. Maybe not. Okay, I want to see if maybe we need to use it on his tail in order for him to be vulnerable to these status effects. No, maybe not. Ouch! What the heck? This guy is ridiculous. Oh, uh, we did save before this, didn't we? I actually kind of forget. Man, what is... Pfft. Well, that's not good. Hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. Yeah, this guy is ridiculous. 
200 HP. <laughs> that is more than double his normal HP. Did this just crash the game? Wow, apparently, uh, Kensi Koopa has no chill, apparently. <laughs> literally, we told him to chill out, and then he just decides to break the game. Wow! No, he literally just... He ever crashed the game, or he crashed the emulator. I don't think that's intentional. I think that it's just, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna reset the emulator. I sure hope I remembered to save right outside that inn, otherwise we in trouble. Okay, good. We remember this. Breaks their leg like Gaston. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> no one breaks the stream <laughs> like Kensi <Ken C>. Koopa. <laughs> All right, we're definitely keeping D down jump. That that, one, that one's amazing. Um, we're just gonna use D down jump every turn, I think. Actually, I don't think quick change is really going to be all that useful, so let's unequip that. Uh, what? I'm going to equip... Z I don't think Zaptab actually does anything, but maybe we should... I don't know. I'm going to equip Lucky Day. Lucky Day actually might be useful. The occasional attack dodge, I think, will actually be nice. All right. Let's try this again. Hey, you in the hat, wait. I'm Kent C. Koopa. <laughs> I'm going to cream you. I said fight! Alright. We're gonna tattle him. I'm gonna see if the uh, chill out is, exact is actually what you have to do or not. You might need good items to beat this guy. Yeah, we actually might. We might need to break out the hustle drinks, actually. Wow! Chill out, just... No, this actually crashes the game. You can't use chill out on Kensi Koopa. Wow, he has zero chill. Zero. Wow. I know! <laughs> it really is! This guy is such a cheater. I'm gonna try to beat him just casually, but if I can't, then, uh... It's all about the money! Well, that's a problem. The love of money is root of many kinds of evil. Alright, I think we just need to focus on, um, dealing as much damage as we possibly can. That move is just flat-out unfair, though. <laughs> I don't want to have to use Repel Gel for this guy. I don't want to beat him regularly. Oh, I should probably charge with Gumbario. Okay, the, uh, if he keeps doing that, then there's not much I can do. I wonder. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna see if he's... if he's... I unequipped quick change. Well, that was dumb of me. Okay. At least D-down jump is really good. I'm gonna see if I can power shock him. Nope! Once again, power shock proves itself to be one of the worst moves. Stop doing this! I can only get kissed so many times. Maybe he just alternates what he does? I don't know.
If he keeps doing that move, though, I'm just screwed. Give me that Yoshi cookie. Oh, boy. This, <laughs> this is going to be a tough fight, isn't it? Stop jumping! Oh, thank you, Lucky Day. Thank you. Maybe I just need to out of sight, like, every single turn. No, I think that's basically what I have to do, is out of sight every turn. Well, I should have kept Quick Change. He's not still vulnerable to sleep. I tried it. That is hard to action guard. In fact, just to prove it, let's try Lullaby. Maybe he's just... Maybe he's immune to Sleep Stomp, but not other Sleep? Yeah. Kensi Koopa has... No chill. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're about to die, but... Yeah, we did. Well, crud. It's gonna take some serious... Huh. I'm not giving up on him. I'm gonna try him a few more times. I need the right badge set up. So I definitely want quick change. Last stand is not helping me at all. Lucky day, I don't I don't like relying on luck, so no no to lucky day. We definitely want quick change. Oh, uh, what else do we want? I'm actually gonna unequip P up D down because the extra defense or I'm gonna need the extra defense, honestly. I'm not going to equip P down D up, but I can't lower my defense by that much. That's just that can't happen. Zap Tap's not going to help at all. Uh, what to do? What to do? I guess I could just equip all the lucky badges and hope for the best, but... I'll equip a Flower Saver. Just to spare the FP. Uh, what else could I do? Double dip actually could be decent. If I got different items. Otherwise, actually, I'm gonna go with Happy Heart. I think Happy Heart, and then... Power Rush. Let's try that. I could get double dip, but I would need better items. Alright. Wait. This crashes the game. Why did I do this again? Okay. We're gonna pretend that that didn't happen. Why does Chill Out crash the game on him? That seems so weird. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot it crashes the game. Alright, let's try this again. If, if I fail again, I'm going to need to get some good items. Because I do admittedly have very, very limited items. We're going to fight this guy. Man, this guy's not kidding when he says he's tough. I'm happy. <laughs> yes. Please keep doing that shell attack on me. Are you serious? 
I'm not happy with that. I definitely timed that. Dunk on it. I wish there was rhyme or reason to when he does his shell versus when he does his jump attack, because his jump attack is many magnitudes nest. I, I timed that! <laughs> Stop saying you're happy when that happens. Oh, yeah, that's way less... Oh, I actually... You know what? I think I'm going to have to equip as much defense stuff as I possibly can. That might be what I have to end up doing. That's not worth doing. That takes too much FP. Ouch! Alright, alright. Let's get smooched. Maybe he's super vulnerable to stopwatches. <laughs> I could try time out. Maybe, maybe he's just vulnerable to be... Maybe he's just a very punctual guy. Maybe that's what we have to take advantage of. Big Boy Koopa has had enough of our shenanigans. He's not even a quarter of the way dead, though. No! Enough of this! This guy means serious business. Do 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 do. We are so screwed. <laughs> I'm not using repel gel against this guy. I'm saving those for the master. So I have a very strong feeling that the Master is going to be significantly tougher than this guy. Yeah, if he just does that attack more, then this would be great. But unfortunately, he doesn't. I'm going to try something, actually. If we do nothing, if we attack him with both Mario and... And our party member, will he do the jump attack? And if we attack him with just Mario, will he do the shell? Nope. That was just wishful thinking. Huh. Now I'm gonna see. Uh, now I'm gonna try to attack him twice. I'm trying to find patterns. So now if I attack if I attack him with both Mario and the party member after he does the shell toss move, will he do the shell toss move again or is this just completely random? He does seem to do whatever he wants though. Okay, nope, that didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm back at this guy. I'm determined I want to try to beat him. All right. I want to see if timeout actually works on him. Timeout I never use normally, but maybe maybe they buffed it in this. Nope! He says, screw you. Okay, well, that's game. Blech! Submit! <laughs> Perfect timing, Nintendo Addict, as always. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Alright, new strategy. So we're going to change our badge really out a little bit, and we're going to get some more items. I'm determined to beat this loser. No happy heart, that's not doing anything. We are going to equip P down D up. It's going to lower our attack power by a bit, but it's going to boost our defense, and we need defense in this battle. Alright, what else can we... Uh, let's also unequip Flower Saver. We're not really using that. We're going to equip Mega Rush, Last Stand, Close Call. All of the... The Big Four! <laughs> We're going to equip the Big Four, and... We can equip one other thing. Nothing really stands out as being particularly useful. Oh, I guess we'll do a refund. 
Might as well make some extra cash during battle. And now we're gonna get some more items. Welcome to the Shroom Grocery. Okay, buddy, we're gonna get our hustle drinks out. Because we can buy these at the Yoshi shop, it's not that big of a deal. We're also gonna get our yummy meal. Ooh, shroom steak, that'll be good. I'm actually not sure if the hustle drinks... Actually, wait, hustle drink is really not gonna do anything, is it? Do I not have any life shrooms in here? Oh, I do. That's good. I want that for safety. Alright, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> 18th time's the charm, right? It's so dumb that you can't oh, use... Are you having cake? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, I did take a cake out of here. All right. Yeah, so now I'm not doing very much damage with my jumps because of the P down D up, but I think it's going to be worth it. Because that's going to lessen the damage we take by two, and if Last Stand gets triggered, he might do very little damage. I do still think it's very dumb. Yeah, only ten damage from that now. I think it's really dumb that Chill Out just doesn't work. There's no real reason for it. Yeah, come on, keep doing this. Whatever. Let me get into danger and then I'll show you how... <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. There we go. Okay. Let's see what the hustle drink. Yeah, we can take an extra action on our next turn. That's a lot of money. That's a unique animation. That's really cool. If Flopsy comes by, he will definitely spam the Gaston clip. Alright. We get plus two. Oh, that's great. I like this a lot. I'm gonna stay in danger. I wanna see how much damage Kensi Koopa will deal with Last Stand equipped. Get Gumbario for that extra one damage. There we go, okay. I can deal with that, please keep doing this. He is more than halfway dead now. That's good. There, yes! Last stand is really useful. I like this. This is the key. Last stand. We're gonna we're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him. I'm very confident. Close call saves us! <laughs> we would have been safe even without it, though. In fact, once we enter peril, then he's going to really suffer. Thank you for being very cooperative this time. Oh boy! Goodbye, Kensi Koopa. Wow, you were a difficult fight. 32 star points! Wow! You must be really strong! I mean, beating a guy my size? I guess I'll have to give up. 
<laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy is so tough. Okay. <laughs> More than okay. I want to know why Chill Out Crash is in that fight. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> seems. It just seems wrong. Alright, but we beat him, folks. We beat him. And we got to see what the hustle drink was like. That's actually really cool. Oh, yeah! One other thing that we never actually got around to doing. We never made a sleepy sheep. <laughs> Mario beats a big guy, makes him cry. Yeah. He kind of deserved it. Do, 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 do. All right, no amazing Daisy, please. Thank you. Do 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 do. Look, that guy was crying. He had 200 HP. Like, and he killed me in multiple different timelines. So, we didn't even need the life shroom or Mega Rush. I'm surprised. I'm quite frightened to see what the Master's next form is, though, because his first form was already really difficult. Alright, Koopa Village. Let's see what that old coot is up to. I think I think we're done with Koopa Coot favors, unless they added new ones. I'm not sure how easy that would be to do, though. Here we go. Kawiz, it's Chuck Quizmo! We now have the ability to get all of the rest of the quizzes. Question! Who do the love struck booze of Goose? It's not Catherine. It's, uh... Victoria? Yeah, correct! Here's your star piece! <laughs> Mario beat him with less than a quarter of his HP. Yeah, he should be ashamed. Question! How many questions were there in the cheap knockoff question? The 64 uh, quiz off. Oh, uh, um, uh, uh, 10. Correct! Here's your star piece. I love how he called it a knockoff. <laughs> You've answered 48 questions! Question! Which of these items can you get by cooking a mystery? Um... By cooking a mystery? Uh... No, no, Normally when you cook a mystery, you get a mistake. I know it can turn into a couple of different items, though. Well, crab apples. You're a good show for helping this old Koopa show many times. Now, Mario, I have one last favor to ask. That cad Bowser. You must defeat that evil King Bowser once and for all. The dear children of this village will never sleep in peace as long as Bowser rules. I wish for nothing more than peace and a reason for my fellow Koopas to hope again. Please help us, Mario. Aw, oh, that's nice of you, Koopa Koot. Is their mystery food blurred out like in Breath of the Wild? No, but it, it doesn't look appetizing. Well, I'm back in the village. It's rather nice, eh, old boy? Adventure is all well and good, but one's home is really tops. So stay here for a change. I've had just about enough of sitting around worrying and waiting for your return. Ahem. <clears throat> ah, yes, of course. Well, ahem. <clears throat> Psst. To tell you the truth, old bean, I'm itching to search for the lost palace in the north. But tut tut, mum's the word as far as the wife's concerned. Bruh, be with your wife. Okay, let's just uh, store some stuff. Check eight more items. Alright, well, I'll check the hustle drink. And the repel gel. And the jelly ultra. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna track down Chuck Quizmo. I want to finish those quizzes. Maybe not this stream, but at least by next stream. We can do all of them now. Wait. Not here. Chuck Quizmo, I know you're around somewhere. I beat Chapter 7, yeah. I beat Crystal Kane earlier in this stream. So now I'm kind of doing some of the extra stuff before. Off to chapter 8! 
No, he's not hanging out at the Goomba household. Do I just literally just have to go back to Koopa Village? I still don't know exactly the coding for where Chuck... Yeah, he literally just returned here again. Kawiz! Haha, <laughs> you thought I'd move? Nope. Question. Okay, was it the hot shroom you can get by cooking a mystery? Of course it's the apple pie. <sighs> I'm not familiar with these specific game mechanics. I don't go around cooking mysteries. Love Koopa Village. Okay, he actually did move this time. <laughs> Lackluster. This is kind of a Koopa Village for you. I know you're a Lakitu, but you're kind of a Koopa. Are Lakitus Koopas? I always thought they were, just hanging out in the clouds. There he is. Kawiz, by process of elimination, you know the answer to the question! <laughs> How'd you know? I tried both of the other options. <laughs> you get 49 questions. We're not done yet, though, folks. Question. What is the name of the star spirit who can use Star Storm? That's Scholar. Correct! Here's your star piece! You've answered 50 questions, but we're not done yet, folks! Question! How many Yoshis did you rescue in Jade Jungle? Um, there was one, two, three, four, five. Wait. It was the Fearsome Five. Duh. Correct! Here's your star piece! That's right, duh. They're, they're called the Fearsome Five. <laughs> Let's try the next question! Question. Who gave you Miracle Water and Flower? That's Lily. These are easy. Correct! Here's your star piece. Lily Pad was great for the backyard pool levels when the zombies attacked. Very useful. Question. How many super blocks are hidden in Toad Town Town? Oh, how many? Oh, super blocks. Um, let's see. There's one, two, it depends on if they count the one that's in the island in Toad Town. Okay. Because there's one above the ceiling, there's one near Shiver City, there's one in the room with the invisible blocks. There was also the one in the island near Toad Town, which is the same background and plays the same music as in Toad Town Tunnels, but it's not necessarily called Toad Town Tunnels. So it's only free then. Well, shoot. Oh, we're also running out of time for the stream. We're actually a little over. Whoops. All right, we'll, we'll, ca we'll catch Chuck Quizmo, and then we can end the stream. Maybe raid someone. We'll see if there are people streaming. Here he is. He's generally hanging out in Koopa Village. Okay, I guess there are only three upgrade blocks in Toad Town Tunnels. What? There are not five! Okay, thinking back to this. One above... The oh, wait, no, there are five. Whoops! No, there are five. Because I forgot, there's also the one behind the Ultra Blocks in the Buzzy Beetle Room. That was my bad. So they are counting the one in, uh... They are counting the one that's off the coast of Toad Town in the single pipe. Tricky, tricky. Maybe everybody else is going on vacation to Florida, and that's why they're not streaming. Oh, also, oh, well, hang on, I'll, I guess I'll wait until I end the stream to give the announcement of what I'm streaming on Saturday. But it's something cool and something I've wanted to stream for a while, and finally was able to figure out how to record. Okay, there are five. That's right, that was my stupidity. Correct! It's glad to know that you remember stuff. Here's your star piece. 
question. Which of these toads are not one of the free traveling sisters? Um, oh, um, Minty. Minty is at the uh, flower garden. Here's your star piece. <laughs> I love this, the happy snake emote. I think that's the new Pog Champ. Question. Who was Goompa in his younger days? He was a champion fighter. Correct! Here's your star piece. Implied to be one of the... Actually, no, not really from Thousand Year Door, but he mentioned that in his old days. 55 questions. We have 10 questions left, folks. Question. How many different kinds of little oinks are there? Okay, there's the black ones, the gold ones, the silver ones, the mystery ones, the shroom ones, the tiger ones. The... Are there eight? Doggone it. I don't use little oinks enough. Silver, gold, mystery, black, shroom, tiger. The American ones, the ones that look... And whatever. <laughs> Alright, well, we're a little over time for this stream, so we're going to have to save and quit there. I'm going to see if we there's somebody who we can uh, raid. But in the meantime, while I look for that up, I'm here to announce. So I am continuing my normal streaming schedule. Mondays and Wednesdays are still going to be Paper Mario Pro Mode. This Saturday... I finally found out a way to record Star Wars Episode One Racer, the pod racing game, so that's going to be fun. Look, that's going to be at, uh, Saturday at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. I finally, like, you would not believe how much stuff I had to go through in order to figure out a way to record the PC version of that game. But I figured it out, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, I love that game. It's one of my favorite racing games, and it's one of those licensed games that's actually really good. So that's what we're going to be doing Saturday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and God bless.